During his first year in office, the president saw his popularity among average Americans plummet. And now even some of his most loyal supporters are turning their backs on the anointed one, including my next guest. Now, you may remember her as Obama girl. Now, she received national attention when this YouTube video went viral and took the Internet and the country by storm. Take a look. You're into border security. Let's break this border between you and me. Universal love care reform. It makes me warm. You tell the truth, I'm like the right. You can love, but you can fight. You can borrow me tonight. I got a crush on mm. Obama. All right, and joining me now is the star of that video. She is Obama girl, Amber Lee Edinger. How are you? Good to see you. I'm good. Good to see you, too. Uh, oh, man. Now, uh, you told me you're nervous. Don't be nervous. I am. My hands are all cold and clammy. Why? <laughs> you I'm make me kind of nervous. Oh, oh, you have a crush on Obama, and I make you nervous. That makes me feel great. I want you to know I'm that. sorry, but you seem like you're pretty sweet, maybe. I, said, I, I may be worthy of a video one day. You never know. Well, so, you, so all right, let's walk through this. You decided to do this video on Obama. Yes. So you, really, you really had a crush on him. I did, yeah. It wasn't my idea, though, the video. Mm -hmm. When we did it two and a half years ago, it kind of came, it was, it came to me, and I thought it was a great, great, funny idea. It reminded me of an SNL skit. Right. And I'm like, well, he's good. I like him. He has a good smile. He's inspiring. I'll do it. And right. I never in a million years thought it was going to blow up. It, just, it. it was huge. Yeah, it was. But you did like him. Now, did you ever hear from the president or the, anybody? No. <laughs> no. You, say, you say that with contempt. I guess I'm a little bit upset about it now because I thought, you know, now that he's president, he could have gave me like a little thank you note, a high five, something. I got nothing. Yeah, but now, <laughs> now would you admit, I think this kind of made it really, it sort of made it cool to sort, for young people to support Obama. Do you agree that it had a little impact? Absolutely. Yeah. He inspired young people to get involved. Me, I come from a fashion design background, yeah. not a political Background right. You said you all. design all the jewelry you have. Yes, this is my yeah. line inspired by Amber. I do it with my mom. And yeah. um, I went to school actually for lingerie, but I changed paths and now I do jewelry. So. All right, so you, you've fallen out of love. I just don't have that big crush like I used to. It's gone. Yeah, I mean, it was two years ago. If I had this crush on him the same way as I did in the beginning, I'd be the fool. You know, it's like a relationship. When you get into a relationship with somebody, they're all great and perfect. They say all the right things. Yeah. And then once you're in the relationship, it's like, okay, they're not that perfect. So those, those <laughs> words, those spe you know, the speeches now, they ring a little hollow. It's not, it doesn't have the same, you don't want to stand up and chant, yes, 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 we can. Well, everyone last night watching the speech got a good workout because I think they got up like 86 times to like clap for them. But I think it was a lot of recycled talk. Yeah, oh, I want to go back to this this comparison though to a relationship. Yes. So, in other words, he, he, you know, when you meet somebody for the first time, what do I, I don't know about relationships. I've been married 18 years, so okay. I, I'm I'm out of that business. <laughs> but you, there's that you know the person's perfect. You don't see any faults at all. In a sense, do you think maybe I you fe, you were sort of caught up in what I describe as Obama mania? Infatuation. You were infatuated. It's an infatuation, yeah. And now it's gone. It's not completely gone now. I've graded him a B minus, and I don't think that's that bad. Uh, you're being a little generous. I am generous. All right, but so you, so if I give him an F, that's that's really really bad. You must really not. Like what he's doing. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm being generous, but well, um, right. Yeah, but no. Here was how I I thought the country almost got hypnotized. Yeah. And and your video sort of, as fun as it is because you did it for fun. Yeah. But it sort of was. I describe Obama mania as the feeling of omnipotent ecstasy. Okay. At the site of Obama. Mm -hmm. Did the country get caught up in this hypnotic trance? Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. But I think it's dying a little bit now, right? You do, and do you think a lot of it's his fault? Well, you know, in simple things, you know, you know, if you're going to not hire lobbyists, don't hire lobbyists. Don't hire lobbyists. Yeah, broken promises. People mm -hmm. like, t you know, talk is cheap. Actions speak louder than words. And even with a relationship, you know, once people, your boyfriend or girlfriend doesn't do what they say they're going to do, you kick them to the curb. And so, in other words, it's <laughs> almost like a uh, boyfriend lied to you. He sort of. And you gave him a B minus. Yeah, well. well if you, how many lies does it take before you say an F? I'm going to give him a little bit longer um, yeah. because I, I'm trying to think positive. I like to not be negative, and I know yeah. that he had a lot to kind of take Would on. Would you vote for him again today? Right now, I can't say for sure. Like, if you had to choose today, right now. Who's, 
Who's my other option? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's say the Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, Governor Palin, Mike Huckabee. Well, at least I wasn't Simple the one. Edwards girl, right? That's one thing. Yeah, I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's the line of the year. Yeah, that's a good point. At least I wasn't. If you, but if you ha put, let's say it was Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, Sarah Palin, Mike Huckabee. Mm-hmm. Who'd I you vote? I like Mike Huckabee. You'd vote for, for Huckabee over Obama. <laughs> would you do a Would you do a Huckabee video? Don't quote me on, on, the, don't on, quote me on doing the videos on anybody yet, but I know like when I did videos for um, Ralph Nader and Mike Ravel, that was pretty fun. Yeah. It's, it was fun. You know, I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to see, wait and see. He's not looking too good. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, he should have contacted you. <laughs> I know. You want an invite. So, I don't know. Some, What's up with something. that? I mean, yeah, Michelle might have stopped it, you know. Might have. I, I even feel like if I wanted to like volunteer at the Christmas White House decorating committee, I'd be declined. That's outrageous. That's not a good feeling. It's not a good, I wasn't invited to the Christmas party. You weren't? Uh, my Fox colleagues were. I was. I didn't get an invitation. So what would you do that night? I stayed home and watched, <laughs> the, you know, uh, watch football. I don't know what <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Well, very nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, we'll be looking forward to future... <laughs> political videos from you. Thank you. And let not your heart be troubled.